So I'm facing an issue that I'm sure a lot of you face. I have this attic scene and I want there to be some sort of god rays that come in through this particular window and have some type of volumetric effect in this particular region only. I don't want the volumetrics to affect the rest of the scene and I want this to look like there's some night light coming in through the attic over here. Now fixes for this is very simple when you're using cycles but in Eevee it did start getting a little harder and that's why I'm creating this video so that if any of you want to create scenes like that as well you will be able to do the exact same. The general fix to do this, which isn't working in my case or isn't exactly what I want, is by using volumetrics in the world settings. You can bring your cursor to the junction of these two windows, click and drag to create a new window and change this to the shader editor. Then you can switch from object to world and over here, you can go ahead and search for either a volume scatter or a principal volume node to get there to be some sort of scattering occurring when you add in a light source over there. So let's plug the volume scatter into the volume and this is what we have. Remember the reason why we have this light over here? is because it is acting as the light coming in from our window. This is essentially just an area lamp with this much of a power pointed in from the window. So that's what we get. Now, obviously this is far too dense, so we can reduce the density to something like 0.1. However, you see the problem with this is that light from this area lamp goes off in all directions and this is not the type of god ray that I wanted. One way that you could fix that is by changing this from an area lamp to a spot lamp. But the problem with the spot lamp is that the actual light source is always a point source. You can't get it to emit from the entire window. So this looks like there's a small hole in the wall from which the light is entering. If that's the scenario, then this is your solution. But mine is an entire window. I need light to emit from the entire window window. So that's why I'm actually not going to be using the volume scatter at all in the world output. I can just select it and delete it to remove it. I'm going to keep the area lamp as an area lamp and not a spot lamp and I'm going to use the cycles solution but then I'll add on a technique that'll fix it for EV as well. So generally if you are in cycles the workaround that's all over the internet is to add in a cube and use emissive lighting as the volume. So let's press shift a and search for a cube and then press gz and just bring it up and then you can go ahead and switch this from world to object and you can add in a new material and instead of using the principal BSDF into the surface you can tap X to delete it and press shift A and search for a principled volume node. Now you can plug the volume into the volume and for now it looks really nice and you have like a volume cube and you can press tab to go into edit mode and just select the necessary faces and align them with this window. So there are many ways of doing that but for now I'm just going to manually align it for this tutorial purpose and suppose you have all of that aligned and you can scale this up to make this as the shape and let's say this is where I want the god rays to actually appear. If I'm in Eevee, the problem is that this principal volume does not follow the shape of the actual object and it remains as a cube itself. It's essentially the bounding box of this particular cube and that's just how volume works in Eevee. I can reduce the density as well to something like 0.1 and we still get that issue. If you were in cycles, the issue gets fixed by itself which you can see by changing the render engine from Eevee to cycles and if you let it denoise for a bit or just render out a few samples, you can see that we actually have the light entering and you get the volume over there. Beyond that, one more thing that you can do in cycles is instead of using a principal volume node itself, you can press shift A and search for an emission node and directly plug the emission into the volume. In that case, you wouldn't require that area lamp that we had. So you can actually just hide that and you can always reduce the strength of the emission down to something like 0.1 or even lower to get the type of effect you're looking for. But the problem is cycles takes way too long to render and is too noisy for my likings. And that's why I want to use this particular shape in Eevee. And the way to do that is really simple. Keep the area lamp as is. You don't require this material anymore so you can just delete it from the emission as of now. After which you can go and switch this window from the shader editor to the geometry node editor. Then press this new to create a new geometry node tree and just in between the group input and the group output press shift a and search for a mesh to volume node. If you were to plug this mesh to volume node in over here and switch this from cycles back to EV you'd get volume in that exact shape only. Now you can reduce the density from 1 to something like 0.1 and there you get the god like effects in the exact shape that you want. Of course, to make this better, you can always increase the voxel amount, make it maybe 128. And since it's EV, it's still going to render much faster than cycles. And down here in the actual render settings, you can change the start and end of the volume metrics to essentially begin just where the volume metrics begins and end also just where the volume metric ends. So once you have that set, you can always increase the number of samples over here as well. Make sure that whatever samples is there here, the main samples in the viewport is the same or more and the tile size as well as low as you keep the lower the better and you can always enable volumetric shadows as well if you want that. So I'm going to go with the density of 0.025 and that is the light entering into my particular scene. And once I actually play around with this and make it exactly how I want, I can go ahead and press render image. Or if you're rendering an animation, you can render out the animation. I hope this was a quick tip that will actually help you in creating scenes like this and just adding some flair into your renders. I tried a slightly different format as to what I generally post on my channel. So if you like this format, let me know down below. If you didn't like it, do let me know as well and I won't make too many of these. 
Other than that, if you want me to continue making a few short tips here and there according to things that I'm making, do let me know and I'll keep making it. This particular attic scene is from a short game that I created on YouTube and was actually released as a hidden message in one of my previous videos. The link to that video in which the hidden message is present will be linked below and maybe you can play the game if you feel like it. Until the next video comes out tomorrow, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and stay creative.